This was more the proportion of space the quotes take up in the article, and here we see that um, the great discrepancies in sources uh, doesn't necessarily mean that uh, there is less attention, but again we see that the militant students get more space in an article than the um, uh, moderate ones. Um, there's of course also a frame that uh, positions the a separation between the violent minority and the peaceful majority, um, but I'm running over out of time, I'm afraid. Um, and here we see the overall tone so that there is a negative, uh, certainly if we look at violence, uh, mostly it's violence about pro of protesters that is being addressed. Uh, in the guardians, you see more attention to the violence of police. Um, and predominantly a negative uh, frame in terms of uh, violence by protesters, uh, talking about thugs, mobs, uh, etc. Um, so, uh, concluding, uh, democratic violence, uh, certainly in this case study of the student protest, increases uh, media exposure uh, massively. Uh, it does not necessarily impede attention for the issues protesters want to address, uh, at some times on the contrary even. Uh, militant voices are more numerous and get more article space on average than moderate vo voices. Uh, and getting attention, of course, does not necessarily mean positive exposure, but neither does it mean exclusively negative exposure. Uh, certainly in The Guardian much more than, than in The Independent. Uh, this is to some extent related to ideological differences between the newspapers. Uh, and it also has to be noted uh, that violence creates division within a movement which is exploited in the media to present an image of the good peaceful versus the bad uh, violent uh, protester.